Hi friends! So today I am doing a process video of how I use upcycled packaging to make shakers. So to do this today I'm using the Flourish collection and I'm trying to use up some of the um, different sticker sheets that I have. I am using up some thickers lying around in my collection and then also different pieces of um, my Flourish scraps and um, some tickets which you'll see I get plenty of use out of. So. This is a great way to um, use your upcycled packaging or stuff that you're going to throw away. If you're a hoarder like me, I try to use up every bit of stuff before I toss it because you can make your plastic pretty. So I'm zooming you in here so that you can see um, I'm gluing this down and I would recommend that if you are going to um, redo this project that you start with just one side at a time because if you do um, say three sides all at one time the glue is going to dry down before you get it um, glued onto the paper so um, it's not as convenient because then there's going to be gaps and different holes left where the glue didn't sit on the paper correctly so yeah that's what I'm doing here I'm just doing each side individually and then I'm using the back of my the back of my scissors excuse me to um, you know reinforce that and make sure that the hot glue sticks good because the last thing that you want is for all of your sequins to fall out in a package or on a project because then it's just gonna be you know pretty piece of plastic <laughs> which you know could be fun for some people I guess so yeah so you can see I'm not too smart here I glued all three down all three sides down before I put the sequins in um, whereas it made it harder to put them in and I had to use like a little scooper and it took me forever and I made a total mess but that's okay, recovered, because it's looking good so far. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then you'll see at the end of the video, I kind of figure out how to do that. And um, I just do two sides at one time and then kind of keep it open when I pour the sequins in there. And it's mess-free and just a lot easier. So I'm cutting down the plastic on the side. Make sure that if you guys do this, you cut the corners too and kind of round those off. Because since this is a thicker plastic, it's going to be really sharp on the edges. So... Make sure you do that and then to kind of complete this look and cover up some of the paper left over from the packaging, I'm just going around um, all of four sides with um, different trims. So for this one I use a pink pom pom trim that I got from Hobby Lobby and if you're interested in any of the stuff that I use in this video you can check out my last video where I did a haul from Hobby Lobby, Scrapbook.com and um, Amazon and a, few, a couple other places just for little things but yeah. And that's another reason why I'm using the Flourish collection. I'm trying to use it up before I break into my new collection, um, Willow Lane by Maggie Holmes. Let me know if you guys have ordered that and any type of projects you guys are doing so far. Yeah, so um, here I am just laying up some tickets. And I know that I wanted to use this piece, um, the sticker that says, All Things Grow With Love. Or maybe Through Love. Don't know exactly what it says, but yeah. So I'm using that because I have some black sequins going on, so just to incorporate a little bit more black into the project, make it look cohesive. And yeah, I've been hoarding that for a while, so it felt good to finally be able to use it. And I'm just putting that um, underneath the, or actually on top of these different tickets. Had a little bit of pink showing through. Yeah, I love the way that this one turned out. Um, the last step that I did on this one was I just punched a couple of hearts out from this turquoise ticket and hot glued those down and burned my finger pretty badly. <laughs> You'll see that in a second. Yeah, this is a dangerous project. There's lots of hot glue, um, sharp plastic edges, so um, maybe don't recreate this at home. Or I don't know, if you're brave enough, then just make sure you're being careful. Um, so I'm onto my second shaker now, and I'm going around the sides of this with a different Hobby Lobby trim. This is a light pink color, and um, this one was perfect because um, my edges weren't really straight on this one, so it was able to kind of fix that. And I picked out some yellow, pink, and gold sequins, and I love how this one turned out. I think this is my favorite because... Um, I've been dying to use this little butterfly die cut and I got to use it on this one because it matched perfectly with the sequins going on so yeah I've been loving these in different projects and I think it's a really cute gift to send in happy mail um, yeah. so just showing you what I have so far I have all the trim glued down and then trying to pick out what I want to layer up on the background and once again I go with tickets surprise surprise um, 
yeah I just think they're a great way to layer up stuff especially when um, you have like a larger blank space you can use bigger tickets and it'll kind of complete the look and make it look not so um, bland I guess so I picked two different ones both pink and glue those together yeah I went through like eight hot glue sticks on this project not even gonna lie <laughs> it's because it takes so much hot glue like you don't want the sequins to fall out so you have to go over and over again with the glue but you know I think it's worth it so yeah got those down and then I'm gluing this wreath on top of those um, and then trying to figure out where I want to place the butterfly it ends up going kind of along the side yeah, let me let me know in the comments what projects you guys would like to see. Um, I am new to YouTube, but I've been having a lot of fun so far being able to film process videos and hauls for you guys. Um, just let me know what you guys want to see um, or just ways that I can improve. Um, I know that my camera isn't the best, it's pretty shaky, and <laughs> I'm doing this voice recording on my phone, so maybe the equipment might be something I need to work on, but um, yeah. Let me, get, let me know if you guys have any um, suggestions on what I could do differently, um, different stuff I could use. So yeah, um, you guys can check out my Instagram too. I post lots of projects on there. It's rwindow.handmade and I will link in the description box as, low, uh, as well. And you can follow me and message me. I usually reply um, to everybody. Um, yeah, it's been a really fun journey so far. I'm um, getting involved in Happy Mail and um, scrapbooking. Let me know if you guys would want to see some flip throughs or some scrapbooking process videos. I would love to do those for you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm just working on my third shaker here. And you can see the process of me picking out the sequins. So I tried to pick ones that would, were going with the chipboard piece that I wanted to use. So green, blue, yellow all the fun colors and then gluing it to this pink paper I was kind of confused on which paper that I wanted to use but um, I thought it might be a little bit too much blue if I went with the other one so yeah got this one down and then you can see um, there's a lot of paper left over from the packaging that I ripped this off of so I was thinking that I wanted to do trim originally but I ended up using a gold washi tape to go around it and this was another mistake. Um, just make sure that if you use washi tape on these, that it's a good washi tape that's actually gonna hold. But what I ended up having to do was reinforce the washi tape with um, actual glue. So that way it was um, it would actually stay on. But yeah, um, I would say probably just stick with trim to cover it up or trim it down a little more. I probably could have done that too. But you know, it's a trial and error process. Learning all the new things. So I glue on my chipboard piece, and I'm pretty happy with that one looks. It's kind of simple. So I just punch out a couple hearts from the washi tape, and that goes on the top. But yeah. So this one looks like. And then my last one, I decided to um, layer up paper that's going to go behind it. So um, <clears throat> I decided to use this cute lemon paper, um, just a little scrap that I had left of it. So use that up. And then I'm also kind of deciding what I want to do on the front of it. So I'm using um, tickets and I pick a couple different stickers. I also know that I want to use this little lemon. So I'm trying to figure out where everything's going to go. And another thing too that I would recommend is um, so use hot glue, but don't, do, don't use too much hot glue on these because um, since it is plastic, a lot of these warped pretty easily whenever I was using the hot glue. Or if perhaps if you have like a low temperature hot glue gun that might even work better um, I think in the future that's my that might be something that I use instead because um, even though these look pretty good on camera the sides are kind of bent out of shape just because the glue is so hot so yeah just trying to figure out what looks good and what doesn't um, I punch a little piece of gold paper using my scallop punch and that goes behind the lemon and behind the flower and trying to figure out where I want the lemon to go, figure out it looks good there. And then you're going to see me pull out a sticker. And this is a gold thicker. Uh, I don't know exactly what collection this is from. I got it from Tuesday morning. But you can see I don't end up using it because it's just a little bit too big. Um, so instead I go for this butterfly. 
and I think it's so cute. It complements the little scallop punch perfectly in this. So yeah, um, this is the final product. It goes on the bottom. Thank you guys so much for watching, um, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks!